It's just about 10 a.m. on the East Coast, and we begin this hour with the cooling U.S. labor market. New data released this morning by the Bureau of Labor Statistics shows 209,000 jobs were added last month. The unemployment rate dropped slightly to 3.6 percent. The markets opened on Wall Street about 30 minutes ago, and so far we've seen a fairly muted response to this economic indicator. We'll keep an eye on this and see how it develops throughout the morning. Joining us now for more is CBS News reporter Sarah Ewell Weiss. Sarah, happy Friday, happy Jobs Day to you. You are paid to look at these numbers. What are they telling us about where the labor market is? Well, happy Friday to both of you. But these numbers, while they're slightly below expectation, which was 225,000 jobs added last month, and we've seen the market cooling some, the market does remain strong. The U.S. has added more than 1.6 million jobs in the first half of this year, and the average per month has been 278,000 jobs per month. At the same time, we've seen labor force participation remain up. So we are down from the strength we saw last year, but that is expected. The unemployment rate has fluctuated some. You mentioned it's now 3.6 percent. That is actually a tick down from 3.7 percent. But all in all, this is a strong jobs report. So the Federal Reserve gave us a bit of an interest rate reprieve last month. But if the numbers keep trending in this direction, what's the likelihood of the Fed raising the interest rate against, again next month? So it remains to be seen how they'll approach interest rate hikes. Uh, but this is actually a good report for the Fed. They've been wanting to see the numbers cooling some. I think it's interesting because we got the minutes from their last meeting earlier this week, and it actually showed that there was a split among members of the Fed on whether they should have had that pause earlier this month where they did not raise interest rates. Some people in that committee did want them to raise interest rates in June. Of course, their next Next meeting is in the end of this month, uh, and there are expectations we'll see two more rate hikes this year by the Fed. It's not clear whether they will do those consecutively, one later this month and then another at the next meeting, or if they'll take an every other approach. But I did find it interesting that some didn't even want that pause earlier this month, uh, and so it'll be fun to see uh, where they go from here. But they, of course, are trying not to surprise anyone with that, so they have basically said there are going to be two more hikes hikes as of now. So, Sarah, the labor market's still showing signs of resilience, as you pointed out. But the debate over the R word, recession, where do we go from here on that? Yes, we've been throwing that word out a lot over the past two years, but right now we are not seeing signs of a recession. I think it's worth noting that we saw GDP has been up for the first quarter of the year. It's two per, at 2 percent. When we look at these numbers, yes, we're seeing the jobs market cooling some, uh, but we're not seeing big spikes in unemployment. We're not seeing uh, dr major drops in jobs being added. At the same time, uh, I will say we were looking at those meetings minutes from the Fed earlier this month, they had, in their staff outlook, suggested there would be a mild recession later this year. They actually revised the language in their minutes uh, to point out that while they do still believe there could be that mild recession later this year, there's just as likely a chance that things will slow down, but there will be not that recession forecasted that they had previously included in their report. So they're really saying this could be one way or the other uh, as, a, as of now. And the last report that, or the last minutes they put out had suggested that mild recession. So they're revising their own forecast here. Uh, but right now, we're not looking at a recession for the U.S. Sounds like those forecasts that go uh, sunny with a chance of rain. Or something along those lines. You know, that's just cover our bases. Economic version. Yeah, right. Uh, Sarah Ewell thank you very much. Thank you.